You got me where you got me. E, one of my favorites, and I know it's the newest, one of the newest songs in the block. Well, now it's time, about that time that we told you about, we want to discuss of, about the journey of faith. And before we get to that, I just want to sample a few of your comments. You talk to us, Pale, on social media, you tell us your story. And um, I'm looking at some of the comments. Let me, let me, let me start with Moses Kendi, Anasama. Yangu, I mean Storia Mosa, so now he's sending his big ups to Kristin, Vivian, Mwende, Eunice Kendi, and so many others. And then up with Naomba by the name Uzima, your guardian angel. We hope we'll be able to play that. DJ Andy C is still in the building. Evans Muridi, and someone tuned in from Meru. Peter Asiago says, um, watching from Kisi. Moses Kendi again says, I like your selection, my DJ. Yes, Afuakaika. You know, yeah. So, uh, Ami Pata, Brand Decker, and Asama, we trust God. Never give, never give up, guys. God is there for all. And that's just the artist that we had earlier on. I'm seeing Ras Vini saying, watching from Bukorom, Tawazito. AB Acosta says, watching live from Kisi. Okio says, PMG. Jay, I don't know what that means. Uh, Charles Kafu says, watching from Karatina. You're all tuned in from different places and we appreciate you. But the last comment, as I invite our guest today, is uh, by Branson KE. And it's very related to what we're talking about. He's saying, Mimi Hapa. Depression is killing me, but na atani me give up na life, and we want to address this uh, with the topic, the journey of faith, and just to encourage you, Branson, that there's still hope for you. Just hang in on there, hang in there. So, uh, for this particular conversation, we are privileged to be joined by Prophet Victor Emmanuel Boate once again in the show. I think this is the second time he's coming for JC Circle. Yes. And we appreciate you, uh, man of God. Thank You've you. You've been here. And you are a teacher, you are a pastor, you are a prophet, so you are many things. So yes. we really appreciate you coming. Thank you. Thank awesome. you so much. Awesome. All right. So um, I just want us to dive in right in. Yes. Into the journey of faith. Mm. So tell us, um, what is what is faith? For, for different people, it means different things. Mm. Some people, you know, inter, interchange faith and hope. Is it the yes. same thing? What is faith, really? Okay. Um, there is difference between faith and hope. Uh, when we talk of faith, uh, of faith, let's talk about hope. When we talk of hope, hope is something you are expecting that is going to happen in the future. Mm -hmm. And when we talk of faith, faith is now. So, so I'm believing God. I trust God that in the future I'm going to get married. In the future I'm going to travel to abroad. Mm -hmm. That is hope because you are hoping that it happened in the future. But when we talk of faith, faith demands now in the sense that I'm sick and I need healing. Mm -hmm. And healing should not come in the future. Healing comes now. Mm -hmm. um, right now I'm expecting a job. I've finished school. I want a job now. I need money to pay rent now. So these are the two different. So sometimes you're talking to somebody, so I hope so. That is hope. Mm. It's not faith. If you need something now, it is faith. Okay. If you need something in the future, it is hope. All right. Okay. So for now, when we're talking about the journey of faith, uh, we're told as Christians to have mm. faith. Yes. Uh, yeah. And uh, we know that faith is the currency that yes. God understands. Yes. <laughs> For those that love finances and everything. So that's the currency that we use yes. as Christians. Why mm. is it important to have faith? It is important to have faith. Number one, as Christians, because the God we are serving, we can see. We are serving a God our mm. eyes cannot see. So to interact with somebody you can't see, you need to believe. So the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 11, verse number 6 says that, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Mm -hmm. For he that comes to God must believe that he is. And so it is important to have faith because you have to believe that God is. Okay. And he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you are coming to God because of healing. You are coming to God because of breakthrough. You are coming to God because of certain things you have believed God for. First of all, you have to believe that he is. Mm-hmm. 
and after you have believed, then he reward your faith. Okay. It's interesting because some people do not believe in God yes. because they do not understand God. They have never seen this mm. God that mm. people are talking about. Yes. So why in the first place, or how do they even get to believe that okay. there is a God? The, I would say that in this life, many times uh, we live by faith, but many people don't know. For example, mm -hmm. as we are seated here, uh, all of us are sitting on a chair. Uh, why are you so, you have so much faith in the chair that it can keep your weight and you will not fall down. That's faith. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, you trusted the one who made the chair, that he did a good job, so it doesn't matter how heavy I am, it can still sustain my weight. Mm -hmm. That is faith. Okay. You don't see your heart, but you believe it is working. Mm -hmm. You don't see your kidney, but you believe it is working. That is faith. Mm -hmm. So when we talk of faith, each and every day of our lives, we live by faith, just that we don't know. Okay. <laughs> so we have faith. We have faith. Only that we have faith in different things. Different things. things. But we need to have faith in, in God. God. Yes. Because he is our creator. Yes. Otherwise, how do we live without yes. knowing uh, where we came from? So I I'd want us to address something. Mm. In the comments, just before you came earlier on in the morning, yes. uh, we asked... Um, our audience a question to tell us about their story and I'll try to to read it out um, um, so um, I'll try to translate it so the yes. question is more I feel lost uh, no hope and you questions question the existence of God so mm. we are asking people mm. have they ever felt felt so lost lost hope until mm. they questioned does God really exist mm. you know Life gets you to that point. Mm. And some people have shared uh, their stories. And someone says how he has lost his job and he's, he doesn't know where to start, mm. basically. Another person just now I've read of, um, the person says uh, depression mm. is uh, killing him. Mm. Um, he's giving up on life. Mm. So there are many people in this state, yes, yes. either because of finances, some because of love mm. some because of different issues yes. so how do they get to have faith in such a t at such a time okay uh, in such cases mostly i was even today i was sharing in church and i was talking about a certain lady i met it's uh we just met we we're just talking i happened to go somewhere and i ordered uber so it was a lady that came so when we were going, I just felt the need of talking to her. So I mentioned her name. And she said, how do you know my name? I said, never mind. She said, you are a prophet. So I smiled. Then we started a conversation. So I've been working with her for a while. She has lost her job for many years, and she has not gotten. So we've been working together with her. So she called me, and she started crying and said, nothing is working for me, nothing. So I said, when you finish crying, tell me, then I can talk to you. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot help somebody who is emotional. You need to bring them to a place where they are sober. Then now you can talk to them. So when she, she came back to herself, I said, OK, you said nothing is working for you. But you can see. So your eyes are working. You can hear. So your ears are working. Mm -hmm. You are breathing. It means your heart is beating. Mm -hmm. So all these things are working. So most of the time, the reason why people get into depression is because they look at what is not working more than what is working. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need to position ourselves to our thinking yes. and our eyes. To, to be on Jesus and to be on what's working, what's yes. working in your life. Yes. And we were talking with uh, DJ Andesi, yes. and we were saying that we need to be thankful, you know, in all yes. circumstances, but yes. says we ought to be thankful. True. But now, for others, they're still, it's still so hard to, to understand how you can, because for others, it's just, they've been Christians, they've mm. had faith, mm. they've been going to church each and every other mm. day, they've been praying, but uh, it seems like trouble just comes to them mm. and attacks them. It feels mm. like an attack. Everything, everything scatters. You don't know where to start. Mm. Then you wonder, does this God really love me? <laughs> Is this God really there? How do they, how, how do you, how would you advise them? Okay, I would say that in that aspect, we keep on looking onto God. Because uh, in every steps of our lives, there are trials we go through. There are tests even in the quest of believing in God, there are tests that we have to pass to the next level of our lives. And that test 
does not come from God. Many people think that, oh, God has made me go through this. God, no, some, it's not God. It is the devil. It's the work of the devil that tempt us. The Bible says God does not tempt any man. But we are tempted by our last. So sometimes we go through things. You find, for example, somebody got into marriage and things are, I mean, going south. Sometimes um, it's because they never wait on God mm -hmm. to, to direct them. This is the kind of man you should marry or something. So sometimes they are drawn with money. Oh, this guy has money. He can make my life good. And they get there. They face issue. Then they start blaming God. Somebody is in Kenya. I mean, everything is okay. Got there a lot of money, about a hundred and plus thousand. Uh, go travel to abroad. Doesn't have a job. Then they start blaming God. So the first question you ask, did you even tell God or ask God, is it your will for me to go to where I've gone to? So sometimes our last, what we want, our desires, is what put us into troubles. Okay. So if we can look keen into what, we, and that is why we need people to guide us. If we go to church, it is not enough to be in church. But also, you need to submit yourself under your pastor for him to guide you. Pastor, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Pray with me. Then he tells you, no, don't go this step. Step here. Don't go this place. And many a times, that is what we don't do and we find ourselves in trouble. Mm -hmm. So I would say that if you find yourself in trouble, go back, admit that, okay, I did this, I did. Some people hide behind the scene. They won't actually tell you what they did that end them into that trouble. Okay. They just try to say, oh, no, you know, this is what is happening. This is what is happening. But we have to know, before we deal with issue, we have to know the root cause mm -hmm. of it. So how did you get into depression? How did it start? What happened? Then from there, we can start helping you out. Okay. Wow. So we need to, it's all about our relationship with yes. God. That's yes. also what I'm getting. You need to yes. know the will of God for, yeah, your, life for and, your life and move with it so that you're not taken yes. back and you feel like things are not working anymore and God is not there for yes. you. What is the journey of faith like for a Christian? Because mm. we are told to grow in faith. Yes. Now, what is the journey like? Okay, the journey of faith, um, it's, it's a step that uh, we don't leave it. Mm -hmm. I would say that to a Christian, um, the Bible said the just shall live by faith. So it's just mm -hmm. like more like a life we are living. So a journey of faith should be a progressive something because uh, er, we grow from faith, from one level of faith to another level of faith to another level of faith. Because when I got born again, how I believed is not the same mm -hmm. how I, I believe today. So to grow in faith, you must apply your faith. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so for example, uh, when I began serving God, when I started going into ministry, um, God told me, oh, I've given you anointing. You can pray for sick, and they will get healed. So uh, quickly, I started looking for sick people. I pray for them, they don't get healed. Mm -hmm. I pray for them, they don't get healed. But one thing is, the more you do, the more uh, you Your build faith. yourself. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do is we have to keep believing. You keep believing, because faith is not like a building that you build to a certain level, you leave it, go for many years, come and continue. When you believe God in a certain way and you draw back, when you come, it's like you start all over again. Mm -hmm. okay. And so it's something we build daily, daily. So we have to, because if we don't live by faith, then we are going to live by fear. Mm -hmm. And so it's a journey that we have to do it daily. Mm -hmm. Each and every day. So when you read the, uh, Rome, uh, sorry, Matthew chapter number six, um, verse number, I think, uh, 11 says that give us this day our daily bread. So it's a something daily. Every day you wake up, you are believing God to give you something, to give okay. you life, to give you a uh, breakthrough, to open doors for you. Mm -hmm. So it's something we don't stop along the way. It's mm -hmm. a progressive something. Okay. Wonderful. So um, 
we have really learned a lot on faith in just this short duration and i wish we had more time yes. to get into it and maybe we'll find that time but i want you to end by giving a word of encouragement mm. to someone out there who's feeling lost mm. you know and then now i'll ask you to to also pray for us after you've given us yes. your social handles where people can get you okay. yeah all right um i will say that uh, god exists Anyone that tells you God doesn't exist is lying to you. God exists, and he reward them that seek him. And so we have to keep believing God, put our trust in him. You know, we have to also, one of the things that will help you in this journey is to get into your Bible. Take it as your friend. Read it every day. Whatever God could have tell you in a dream, mm -hmm. he, it is in his word. So learn to know the word of God. Learn to know what he has said. What are you going through? If you are sick, there is a word in the Bible that provides your healing. If you need money, there is a word in the Bible that talks about money and how you can get money. If you need a husband or a wife, the Bible says none shall lack their mates. Everything is in the Bible. So for you to also grow and to build yourself in this journey, you need to get close to your Bible and to know what God has said about your life. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So God does not draw himself from us. It is us who mm -hmm. are far from 